Hello, D-Traders. Today, we are going to present you the current week economic calendar. Let us briefly review the releases slated for the first part of the week. The UK authorities will unveil the November reading of the manufacturing PMI. As economists say, the index is likely to rise to 56.5 points. A month earlier, the British manufacturing PMI stood at 56 points, down from 56.3 points previously. By the way, no changes in the reading of the indicator had been predicted in October. The manufacturing PMI is crucial for the sentiment of speculators, as it mirrors several aspects of the economy, employment, prices and expectations. It is first reminding that the readings of the index above 50 points suggest upturn, while those below the 50 points benchmark indicated downturn. Moreover, the Australian Bureau of Statistics will publish information on the retail sector for October. The indicator is projected to grow, but the pace is likely to be slower than months before, when it advanced by 0.4%. In September, the retail sales popped up by 0.8%, far beyond their 0.4% forecast. The sales increase was sparked by stronger consumer confidence in the wake of elections. However, analysts note that the improvement may turn out to be short-lived because both wages and employment are rising rather slowly. Another important advance slated for the first half of this week is the interest rate announcement by the Bank of Canada. Experts believe Canada's regulator will leave the rate at 1% for December. At the previous meeting, the key rate was held steady as well. It has not been changed since September 2010. The bank expects that a better balance between domestic and foreign demand will be achieved over time and that growth will become more self-sustaining. That's all for the first half of the week. We'll be keeping you updated. Goodbye.